Welcome back to Cure Republic. Today is June 3rd, 2021, Thursday. Our news highlights for today, European markets lower as mining stocks fall on China data, same globing up 3.5%. European stocks were slightly lower Thursday as investors reacted to fresh data out of China and look ahead to a key U.S. jobs report later this week. Lackluster sentiment in Europe comes after shares in Asia-Pacific were mostly higher in overnight trade as investors reacted to data releases in Australia showing positive retail sales growth and the latest economic data out of China. In other news, stocks rise slightly as the S&P 500 hovers near a record. Stocks rose slightly on Wednesday with the S&P 500 hovering near an all-time high. All three indices are fairly close to record levels. The Dow and Nasdaq are 1.4% and 3.2% below their respective records. Energy, stock, energy stocks again outperformed the broader market on Wednesday as crude prices continued their recent rebound. Investors have snapped up shares of some of the nation's largest oil and gas companies in recent sessions as optimism about the economic rebound in the U.S. fosters demand for crude, airfare, and other travel-related assets. Markets may be on hold before the big jobs report on Friday. The U.S. likely added 671,000 non-farm payrolls in May, up from 266,000 jobs added in the previous month according to the Economist polled by Dow Jones. June is historically a weak month for stocks, but Instinet points out that, that the S&P 500 has had a better track record recently, gaining every June since 2016. In other news, easing pandemic curbs drive local shares to near three-month high, according to Philstar. Philippine shares rallied to their best finish in nearly three months on Wednesday as the market cheers a further easing of pandemic restrictions. The Philippines' PMI inched up to 49.9 in May from 49 in the previous month. PMI reading still fell below the 50 mark, separating growth from slump. It was nevertheless a milder contraction that shows some semblance of stabilization. We see this strength in the market persisting through the week as momentum and fund flows continue to be bullish. The resistance is currently pegged at around 7,000 to 7,100 pesos. It is also worthy to note that foreigners remain net buyers for the fourth straight day, according to China Bank Securities. But Regina Capital was less upbeat. They said that today, the PSEI broke out of its 100-day moving average. Further rallies will likely be weighed down by profit-taking since investors are likely to cash in on gains after months of downturn. Dito naman po sa ating chart, sa ating PSEI, nag-close po tayo sa 6,791. Meron po tayong pag-pullback today na 0.73%. Kung titingnan po natin yung candlestick natin today, maganda pa naman po, we can still say na healthy pullback pa rin siya dahil minementain pa rin po natin yung pag-trade above 6,760 level kung saan break out po natin siya kahapon. Although, lower high po yung ating naging uh, result ng ating candlestick today, pati na rin po yung ating high kahapon which is our closing price, hindi po natin nahingitan. Pero, uh, nonetheless, maganda pa rin naman yung pagka-close natin dahil kagaya po ng pullback natin dito noong May 28 from May 27, hindi po siya naging drastic. So, umbaga na hold on natin yung ating momentum and we are still trading above the moving average line. So, no questions about our indicators kasi maganda talaga yung momentum na may kita natin. And ang maganda pa na tinitingnan po natin dito na green flag is itong ating second consecutive day na billion po yung pumapasok sa atin dito sa ating net foreign indicator. Nonetheless, 5 consecutive trading days na po tayong may support coming from our foreign investors 
So that's why ma-outweigh po natin yung pagkakaroon natin ng lower high dito na healthy pullback pa rin po siya dahil meron pa rin tayong magandang support coming from our uh, foreign investors. Checking the PSEI into its monthly time frame. So nasabi po sa news natin ang ating resistance dito is 7,000 to 7,100. So yan po yung ating may kita dito sa ating monthly time frame. And ngayon nga po meron tayong clear picture dito ng pag breakout sa 6,760 level and we are now heading towards dito sa 7,000 maximum 7,100 siya po yung ating naging resistance noong December 2020 pati na rin po January 2021 so since meron pa rin tayong magandang momentum there is still a good chance na ma-reach po natin yung 7,000 peso area so yung mga red flags na lang na kailangan natin i-monitor or isa-isip palagi yung naging news natin kanina sabi nila sa news na yung June month is uh, normally uh, a decline month for the stocks so normally daw nagkakaroon ng pangit na galaw yung mga stocks during June and then sabi rin sa atin sa local news itong pagkakaroon natin ng rally is uh, magiging parang turnover siya para sa ating mga investors na mag take out or mag profit taking so ang maximum na tinitingnan natin dito na pagtaas is 7,000 level so kapag ka nasa 7,000 level na tayo which is mga 80% naman siya pwede mangyari might as well uh, take your profits kung gusto nyo mag iwan ng uh, shares siguro mga portion of shares lang kasi baka mamaya magkaroon tayo ng strong pullback upon reaching itong 7,000 and bumalik tayo dito banda sa may 6,600 level so yun yung kailangan nating tingnan once na na-reach natin yung 7,000 kasi within the month of June uh, marireach natin yan possible by next week marireach natin yan and then baka manghina yung uh, momentum natin kasi nga ang hina-highlights is during month of June pangit yung galaw ng mga stocks plus sunod-sunod na nga rin naman yung ating uh, gain so nasa 3 month high na tayo ng ating PSEI from our low so yan yung ating mga babantayan sa mga susunod na araw. Pero sa ngayon po, generally, maganda yung support ng ating market, maganda yung support ng ating foreign investors, so we can still hold into our shares. At ang mga stocks na re-review naman po natin for today, these are Merrimart, dito CME, ACE Energy, Manila Mining, Apollo Global, Mega World, Macro Asia, Cebu Air, MPI, at para po sa ating mga cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Dogecoin. Sa mga bago pong nanonood ng video na ito, I'm inviting you to please subscribe on this channel para maging updated po kayo sa mga bagong videos na nilalabas po natin, particularly sa mga news at insights na binibigay po natin sa ating mga stocks. Like and share this video as well para mapagbigay insights din po tayo sa iba. And also before we proceed, I would just like to acknowledge and say thank you to the following people. Maraming maraming salamat po. Rubel Taneo from Riyadh, Saudi. Ayan from France. WPH Luz Viminda. Adma Bullish from Riyadh, Saudi. And A. TGBTG. Homer Nang. Edna Aquino, Ed Miguel, and thank you rin, Hilroy. Maganda pa rin galaw ng PSEI natin until today. And pwede pa natin siya maasahan until next week. Kay ADA and Ethereum, and sa ating mga crypto, tuloy-tuloy pa din ang momentum. Kaya tuloy-tuloy pa din ang ating gain. Congrats po again, sir, and more blessings to come. Thank you, Yang Shifen, Maribel Igne, Go, 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 healthy life. And LR Fontamillas. Kamusta po ang ating Republic Day kahapon? Nawa po ay nag-enjoy tayo and nakapahinga din sa ating hectic na schedule. At sa lahat po ng mga nanonood ng video natin today, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong oras. Have a nice day and keep safe po palagi. Mary Mart, close late 4.79. Meron po tayong continuation ng ating gain na 1.48%. And kung titingnan po natin itong candlestick, 
na ginawa po natin today it looks like a shooting star type of candlestick kaya lang ang green flag naman po dito is that bumuo pa rin po tayo ng ating higher high and itong ating pinaka low na ginawa today which is 4.72 it seems na kaparehas po ng ating closing price kahapon so meron pa rin naman tayong momentum na nakikita dito dahil nagbuo pa rin po tayo ng ating higher high at hindi po natin break down itong ating 4.70 level meron din po tayong magandang volume na kasing laki or mas malaki sa volume na ginawa po natin kahapon and consistent pa rin po yung ating net foreign dito although gumababa po yung ating net foreign indicator pero at least we are consistent from May 17th up until today and yung nire-review nga po natin itong si Mary Mart kahapon nasabi po natin na talagang may expect po natin yung resistance from 4.90 to 5 peso area so ito yung ating resistance 4.90 then ito rin yung resistance ng ating May 2021 na candlestick itong 5 peso area. So, we can still say na healthy pullback pa rin po yung ginawa ni Mary Mart. And meron pa rin po tayong momentum. So, hopefully by tomorrow, madagdagan po ulit tayo ng ating higher high. Kung hindi man, is at least hindi po natin ma-break down yung ating opening price or yung low natin today. Or ma-maintain pa rin natin itong 4.70 area kasi we still have a way to go for Mary Mart nasa mababang area pa rin po tayo dahil prior the pandemic is or prior itong uh, downtrend na ginawa natin from March 2021 hanggang May 20, 2021 is nagtitrade na po tayo dito sa ating 6 peso area so kumbaga nagbabawi pa lang tayo kay Mary Mart so check niyo po maigi yung magiging options natin for Mary Mart dito CME, close today 9.75. Meron po tayong pag-pullback na 3.08%. And kung titingnan po natin itong ating candlestick na ginawa po natin today. So, una po yung red flag na nakita natin today is from this closing price kahapon. Bumuo po tayo ng ating lower high today. However, ma makokontra naman po natin yan sa green flag na may kita natin dito sa ating candlestick dahil yung high natin kahapon na around 10.06 na breakout po natin and yun ating naging high today is 10.20 so meron po tayong momentum na tinitingnan dito kay dito CME plus yung ating volume is uh, malaki po so mas, uh, mas nalakihan pa po natin yung ating volume kahapon kung titingnan po natin ito si dito CME sa kanyang monthly time frame para lang din po itong si Mary Mart na nagbabawi pa lang po. So may kita talaga natin dito sa ating 9.95 area. Yan po yung ating resistance diyan and uh, 9.95 to 10 peso area po talaga yung ating pwedeng speculate na maging resistance natin dito kay dito CME. So pwede pa rin po natin masabi na healthy pullback pa rin po itong nangyari dito kay dito CME kasi meron pa rin po tayong momentum we are still trading above the moving average line plus maganda pa rin po yung support ng ating uh, net foreign indicator dito 1.63 million pa rin po yung ating pumasok dito kay dito CME so ang titingnan po natin dito or yung babantayan po natin dito kay dito CME is huwag niya po ma-breakdown itong ating 9.59 or 9.60 area para po ma-maintain natin yung ating momentum dito kay dito CME. So kung sakali man madugtungan pa po itong ating pag-pullback by tomorrow is at least hanggang dito lang po siya sa 9.59. So wag lang po yan ma-breakdown kasi kung hindi ibig sabihin malakas pa rin po talaga yung resistance natin dito banda sa may 9.96 pataas and baka magkaroon po tayo ng malaking sideways dito na merong support from 9 peso area to 9.96 pero uh, secondary pa lang po yun na tinitingnan natin dahil concrete pa rin po itong ating support na 9.59 or 9.60 so ito yung ating aabangan na huwag niya lang pong ma-breakdown so check niyo po maigi magiging options natin for dito same AC Energy closed at 7.54 meron po tayong continuation ng ating gain na 1.62% and kung titingnan po natin yung ating candlestick na ginawa po today makita po natin yung willingness ng ating market na mapataas yung price ni AC Energy so nag-open po tayo dito sa 
And then nagkaroon tayo ng low sa may 7.45 pero still umangat pa rin po tayo more than the opening price and nag-close pa rin po tayo above it so 7.54 so willing na willing po yung ating market na pataasin yung price ni AC Energy so we still have a good momentum para po kay AC Energy and then maganda rin po yung ating net foreign dito kay AC Energy so may kita po natin parang kahapon lang po tayo nagkaroon ng uh, selling dito kay EC Energy. So, kumbaga, kung titingnan po natin from April 30 at up until today, mga ilan-ilan lang po yung ating nagiging net foreign selling. So, siguro healthy na palita naman po yan ng buying and selling natin. And kung ito po yung susumahin natin, mas lamang po yung ating buying dito sa ating net foreign indicator. So, maganda po yung ating momentum. Maganda yung support ng ating mga foreign investors. Tingnan po natin ito si EC Energy sa kanyang monthly time frame. Dito po is may kita natin na talaga pong binibreakout na ng market yung ating resistance dito sa ating 7.50 area. So, siya yung ating resistance noong January, February, March, and April. Kasama na rin po natin yung ating May. So, we still have, uh, we, we really have a strong momentum as of the moment. And may expect po natin na yung ating maximum target o yung pinakamataas na target natin as of the moment is itong 8 peso area pero as early as 7.80 maka experience po tayo dito ng strong resistance so 7.80 to 8 peso area meron po tayo dyan strong resistance so kung naghanap po kayo ng profit taking area para po maunahan natin yung iba or makuha na po agad natin yung ating gain 7.80 to 8 peso po yun depende na lang po sa trading plan ninyo kung gusto nyo 7.80, 7.85, 7.90 or 8 peso area depende na lang po sa atin yan pero sa tingin naman po natin pagka magtutuloy-tuloy po yung ganitong ating momentum meron pa rin tayong chance i-breakout itong 8.06 kaya lang medyo may hirapan tayo doon baka medyo matagalan mag-pull back po muna tayo hindi kagad natin siya mag-breakout so mag-perform muna ulit tayo ng panibagong base so ito yung tinitingnan natin ngayon na maximum profit taking uh, di, para dito kay AC Energy so reaching the 8 peso area meron po tayo yung 70 to 80 percent chance itong 7.80 meron po tayong 90 to 100 percent chance. So magandang maganda pa rin po yung ating momentum kay AC Energy. Nasa 7.54 pa lang po tayo. So we can still hold sa atin pong mga shares. So check nyo po may IG. Magiging options natin for AC Energy. Manila Mining closed today 0 0.013. Same closing price po tayo as of yesterday. Pero nagkaroon po ulit tayo ng low today na 0 0.012. So sa mga nakasalo po sa 0 0.012 at naka-exit po dito sa 0.013 maganda po yung decision na yun dahil lang base nga po sa review natin kahapon more on bounce play po yung pwede natin mas speculate dito kay Manila Mining and if you did that meron na po tayo ditong 8.15% gain pero mind you again uh, more on bounce play na lang po yung may experience natin dito kay Manila Mining kung titingnan po natin siya dito sa ating monthly time frame may kita po natin yung ating ginain noong April 2021 month is unti-unti na pong tinitake over ng ating mga beer. So, nakikita po natin yung ating pag-decline ngayon. And if we are looking for a safe na support, as of the moment, nakikita po natin siya dito sa mga bandang 0 0.011 area. Probably tomorrow, uh, there's a good chance mga 70% matouch po rin natin itong level 12. Hindi lang po natin alam kung mag-bounce ulit tayo papuntang level 13. So, medyo delikado kung dito tayo sasalo sa level 12. Mas, mag mas maganda ba nga na po natin siya dito sa level 11? Kasi definitely, pag pumunta po tayo sa level 11, may chance po tayo na umakit ulit sa level 12 and then bounce play po ulit yung tinitingnan natin dito kay Manila Mining. Pero generally, mahina po yung ating momentum. Tinitake over na po ng mga bears yung ating naging uh, gain noong April 2021. So check nyo po maigay magiging options natin for Manila Mining. Apollo Global closed it at 0 0.19. Meron po tayong pag bounce or additional gain na 3.83%. And kung titingnan po natin itong ating candlestick today na ginawa para po dito kay Apollo Global nagkaroon po tayo ng momentum we are trading today or we have traded today above moving average 9, moving average 20 and moving average 100 so very strong move po yung nangyari today 
Kaya lang kung papansinin po natin yung ating volume is hindi po siya ganun kataasan. So medyo may pagka red flag itong candlestick na ginawa natin although meron tayong support coming from the net foreign indicator pero more more on bounce play po yung tinitingnan natin dito sa ginawa natin today. So kung titingnan po natin yung ating mga indicators more on momentum yung may kita natin dahil nga po sa strong move na ginawa natin today na dagdagan pa po ulit itong ating positive histogram. So kumbaga tumaas po tayo. So be very careful lang po especially kung dito po tayo nakasalo sa pinakamataas na area niya today na 0.1930. So kailangan po natin siyang bantayan. Hopefully wag po siyang mag close below the closing price po natin today which is 0.1930. 19 kasi kapag ka po nangyari yun gagawa po tayo ng ating lower high dito kay Apollo Global. So uh, by tomorrow hanggang Monday may kita po natin kung we, we really have a strong move dito kay Apollo Global to reach the 0.1960 or more on bounce play pa lang po. So tomorrow meron tayo pwedeng makitang initial confirmation kung tataas ba tayo dito or bababa. So kapag ka na-close po tayo below our closing price today, by tomorrow ibig kong sabihin, more on bounce play lang ito and then dito pa rin natin siya nakikita na strong support 0.1820 moreover dito sa 0.1740 kasi nakikita natin ilang beses natin in-attempt i-break out itong area na ito na 0.1850 pero hindi po natin siya nagagawa. So ngayon lang po siya nagawa, biglaan so medyo 50-50 uh, po itong ating momentum na nakikita today. So, abangan po natin yan by tomorrow. So, check nyo po may IG. Magiging options natin for Apollo Global. Mega World close today 3.21. Same closing price po tayo as of yesterday. So, red candlestick man po yung ginawa natin today. Masasabi pa rin po natin na meron pa rin po tayong magandang momentum dahil bumuo pa rin po tayo ng ating higher high today. So, yung high natin kahapon na 3.22 na breakout po natin yan nagkaroon tayo ng high na 3.23 although nag-close po tayo same closing price pero at least meron pa rin po tayong momentum na nakita sa kanya and then we are still maintaining itong ating 3.20 na support so kasi kaka-breakout lang po natin dyan kahapon and now we are trading above this moving average 50 ito pong ating red line meron din po tayong red flag dito coming from our uh, foreign investors. So, kung titingnan naman po natin yung ating net foreign indicator, wala talaga tayo masyadong makita magandang support coming from the foreign investors. So, mostly uh, more on selling sila. Pero, pwede pa rin po natin tong tingnan si Mega World in a positive way using its momentum. So, nakita po natin we are still trading above moving average 9. And kung titingnan po natin siya sa ating monthly time frame, Ito nga po, kaka-breakout lang natin dito sa 3.20. So, meron tayong strong momentum dyan. Kini-clear out po ng market na mag-trade na tayo above 3.20. And we are now heading towards dito po sa ating 3.50 area. So, pagdating po dito sa 3.50 area, dito tayo maka-experience ng malakas na resistance. Possible mag-pullback muna tayo dyan and bumuo muna tayo ng base bago natin siya ma-breakout. So may kita natin yan, 3.50 hanggang 3.70 po. Yung pwede natin maging strong resistance dyan kasi ito yung uh, parang ginain natin noong November 2020 and then siya naman yung ating naging resistance noong February, March, and April. Pero generally, may magandang momentum pa rin tayo dito kay Mega World. We, we can still speculate that we still have a chance to reach out itong 3.50 hanggang 3.78 so ayan po yung ating mga uh, tinitingnan kay Mega World as of the moment so check nyo pong maigi yung magiging options natin for Mega World Macro Asia closed at 5.28 meron po tayong additional gain from yesterday na 2.52% and may kita po natin na medyo may pag shooting star type of candlestick din yung ating ginawa today pero kung pagbabasihan po natin yung ating candlestick versus today bumuo pa rin po tayo ng ating higher high pati na rin po yung ating closing price kahapon na around 5.15 nahigitan po natin yan ng ating opening price today so mataas din po yung volume 
na nakikita natin currently kay Macro Asia. Kaya lang ang pinaka red flag na nakita po natin dito is yung support coming from the foreign investors. So wala pa rin po tayo nakikita ang support coming from the foreign investors. Pero we don't know if we are on the preparation na ng pagtaas dito kay Macro Asia. Kasi kahapon, based sa report natin, dahil nga po nababawasan na yung ating mga COVID-19 cases sa United States, pati na rin po yung inoculation program is continuous and pabalik na nga po yung ating uh, economy. Kumbaga parang unti-unti na po tayong bumabalik sa, sa normal, especially sa United States. So medyo tumas po yung kanilang mga stocks when it comes to airline sector kahapon. So probably nagkaroon din tayo ng overflow sa ating market today. So, yun yung tinitingnan natin na possible na reason kung bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng pagtaas dito kay Macro Asia. So, medyo alanganin pa rin naman, especially kung hindi ka po nakabili dito sa kanyang lower area, kung ngayon ka, lang, yung, kung ngayon ka pa lang papasok dito kay Macro Asia. Pero po, sa mga nakapag uh, accumulate na po ng shares, especially dito banda sa may 4.90, you still have an option to hold. Then, we will observe yung Uh, additional two candlesticks natin so by tomorrow and by Monday hopefully ma-maintain po natin itong pag-trade above 5.24 and wag po natin i-take over yung ating naging, naging gain noong June 2nd, 2021 so kung mag-pullback man tayo by tomorrow hopefully hanggang uh, dito lang po tayo, hanggang 5.18 lang and wag natin i-take over itong gain natin noong June 2nd kung titingnan po natin siya dito sa ating monthly time frame, meron po tayong magandang momentum na nakita dahil yung 5.20 area is na breakout na po natin. So, uh, initial sign po yan na meron tayong magandang momentum na nakita kay Macro Asia and we are heading towards dito sa 5.74. So, medyo crucial pa. So, again, kung wala ka pang shares dito kay Macro Asia, observe ka muna. Pero kung nakapag-accumulate ka dito banda sa 4.90, you still have an option to hold. So, check nyo po may IG na yung magiging options natin for Macro Asia. Cebu Air, close today 46.85. Meron po tayong gain na 3.54% today. Meron po tayong support around 44.70 and resistance around 46.80 area. So, kung may kita po natin kaparehas ni Macro Asia, Meron din po tayong magandang momentum ngayon dito kay Cebu Air. We are trading above moving average 9 and medyo may pagka-breakout din po tayong ginawa today dito sa ating 46.80 area. So dalawang araw or uh, starting May 31st meron po tayong magandang momentum, magandang net volume and uh, more on buying volume yung nakikita natin sa kanya. Pero kaparehas din ni Macro Asia wala po tayong masyado makita ang support dito po sa ating net foreign indicator beginning May 17th up until today puro selling po yung nakikita natin although meron tayong difference na nakikita sa ating selling kahapon versus today so ito rin po yung abangan natin kay Cebu Pacific kagaya rin po ng sinabi natin kanina kay Macro Asia in the United States medyo gumaganda po yung support sa kanilang airline sectors. So, probably nagkakaroon din po tayo ng overflow dito sa ating PSEI and yun yung ating nagiging catalyst sa pagkakaroon ng magandang momentum ng ating mga airline sectors kagaya nito ni Cebu Air, pati na rin po ni Macro Asia. Check po natin si Cebu Air sa kanyang monthly time frame. So, dito po, dito sa 46.80 Strong resistance din po talaga yung may experience natin dyan pero may pag-attempt na po tayo, initial attempt na pag-cross over or breakout dito sa 46.80 and dito rin sa monthly nakaangat na po tayo dito sa ating moving average 9 and it looks like we are heading towards dito sa 48.80. 40 area. So from this area, 46 pesos going to 48 peso area. Meron naman po siyang at least 3% range na tinitingnan natin. Yun nga lang po, kung wala ka pa namang shares dito kay Cebu Pacific, medyo i-observe observe po muna natin siya up until next week. And then ang gusto po natin makita rito is ma-maintain natin yung pag-trade above 46.80. 80 area and wag tayong magkaroon ng breakdown dyan kasi technically 
lower high pa rin naman po yung tinitingnan natin sa kanya although this time we are trading above moving average na so medyo hindi pa natin siya um, uh, ma-concrete na buo na meron tayong magandang igagalaw dito kay Cebu Air kasi hindi pa po sumasabay itong ating um, net foreign indicator pero yun nga po meron na tayong news in the United States sa pag-angat ng kanilang airline sector so babantayan pa rin po natin yung ating mga airline sectors dito sa ating PSEI. So, check nyo po may EGA magiging options natin for Cebu Air. MPI close rate 4.01 meron po tayong pag pullback na 0.74% pero maganda pa rin po yung momentum na tinitingnan natin dito kay MPI. So, kung i -re evaluate po natin itong si MPI, yung momentum po na nakita natin actually started noong May 26. Kasi yan po yung time na nagtitrade tayo above moving average 9 dito sa ating purple line. So, consistent po yan from May 26 up until today, nagtitrade po tayo above moving average 9. So, bumubuo po tayo ng ating mga higher lows, pati na rin po yung ating mga higher highs. Ang red flag po na nakita natin today is dito po sa ating net foreign indicator. And actually, wala tayong makitang magandang support coming from our foreign investors. So, ang tinitingnan po natin ngayon is itong momentum na ginagawa ng ating market without the help of our foreign investors. So, ang area po natin ngayon is uh, yung support 3.95 and then resistance sa 4.07. So, medyo nasa profit taking area po tayo upon reaching itong 4.07. So, agaya po ng high natin today 4.05. Pwede po tayong maka-experience ng strong resistance dyan. Kaya naman po uh, bumaba yung ating price today na 4.01. di tayo nagtuloy. So, ito yung chinachallenge ng ating market ngayon kung sakaling magiging consistent yung ating momentum without the help of the foreign investors, there is a chance na mag-breakout po tayo dyan sa 4.07 area. Pero kung wala ka pa pong shares dito kay MPI, medyo alanganin pa pong pumasok dyan sa area na yan, 4 pesos pataas dahil hindi pa po natin masabi kung concrete na ba yung ating momentum para mag-breakout tayo dyan. Kasi kung titingnan nyo rin po, Dito last time, noong April 13, we are also trading above moving average 9 hanggang May 4. Pero after po nun, uh, nagkaroon pa rin tayo ng weakness at hindi pa rin po kinayang i-break out itong 4.07 area. So nasa decision making po yung ating market kung i-break out na ba natin itong 4.07 or makakita po tayo ng gintong klaseng pattern kumbaga parang more than 4 days tinatry i-attempt yung uh, i-breakout yung 4.07 pero failed pa rin and then nakakita uh, na tayo ng mga lower high so yan po yung kailangan nating bantayan kung sakaling puro mga higher high yung makita natin then ibig sabihin we are good to go to trade above 4.07 pero kung makita po tayo ng uh, difficulty ng pag-breakout yun sa 4.07 meaning to say magpo-pullback po ulit tayo and uh, possible na magkaroon ulit tayo ng low dito sa 3.86 so medyo nasa crucial stage tayo for MPI so again kung wala ka pa pong shares observe ka po muna kung meron ka na pong shares at nakabili ka dito banda sa mine 3.95 you're still on the good side you still have an option to hold and then see kung magbe-breakout tayo dyan to go to the 4.25 area. So, check nyo po may EGM magiging options natin for MPI. Bitcoin is currently trading at 38,760 and dito po sa ating chart kung kahapon nagtitrade po tayo below moving average 9. Ngayon po is nagtitrade na tayo above moving average 9. So, nakikitaan na po natin siya ng magandang momentum. Actually, uh, since May 30th, dahil gumagawa po tayo ng ating mga higher lows, pati na rin po ng ating mga higher highs. So, meron tayong bagong support ngayon, 38,000, and then yung immediate resistance natin is 40,000. Nandito po itong ating blue line, itong ating moving average 20. So, generally, maganda yung ating momentum. May kita po natin yan dito sa ating mga indicators, especially sa stochastics, papunta na po siya sa ating overbought area and dito sa ating MACD is naka-crossover na tayo meron tayong positive histogram kung titingnan po natin itong si Bitcoin sa kanyang weekly time frame 
ang tinatry po nating i-reach ngayon na highest point is itong 45,000. So, we are just going in the middle ng ating naging selling noong May 17th week. So, we have a chance na ma-reach pa po itong 45,000. So, upon reaching itong 45,000, dito po tayo pwede maka-experience ng matinding resistance kay Bitcoin and possible mag-pullback po muna tayo dyan. So, reaching 45,000, mga nasa 70% naman po natin siya pwede magawa dahil meron po tayong maganda momentum ngayon. And even dito sa weekly time frame, may kita po natin na yung ating mga low or na, na nakita po tayo ngayon ng ating mga higher lows. And ang ating support ngayon dito sa ating weekly time frame is itong ating green line moving average 50. And ayun na nga po, we are heading towards dito sa ating moving average 20 and moving average 9. So check nyo po maigi, magiging options natin for Bitcoin. Ethereum is currently trading at 2,833. Same with Bitcoin, meron din po tayong magandang momentum na nakikita dito kay Ethereum and actually dito kay Ethereum since May, May 31st maganda na po yung ating momentum dahil we are trading above moving average 9 and pansinin po natin gumagawa po tayo ng ating mga higher lows pati na rin po ating mga higher highs so meron tayong magandang support ngayon dito banda sa 2700 area kung titignan din po natin itong ating mga indicators maganda rin po yung momentum sa ating stochastics na sa overbought ang ating MACD is kaka-crossover pa lang po. So, meron tayong positive histogram ngayon. And, check natin si Ethereum sa ating weekly time frame. So, weekly time frame natin, we are trading above moving average 9. So, mas maganda yung momentum ni Ethereum kesa kay Bitcoin. So, umbaga parang nakapagsimula na itong si Ethereum sa pagtaas. Si Bitcoin naman is pasimula pa lang po. Dahil uh, we are just uh, trading below moving average 9 pa kay Bitcoin sa ating weekly. Itong si Ethereum nagtitrade na po above moving average 9. So again, meron tayong magandang support sa 2,700 and siguro dito sa area ng 2,900 pwede tayong maka-experience ng slight resistance and then meron naman tayong chance na mapunta dito sa may 3,400. So mga nasa 70% din po siya. So generally, maganda yung momentum na nakikita natin kay Ethereum kung meron na po tayong shares Pwede pa, po ta, pwede pa po natin siyang i-hold. Maganda pa rin po yung nakikita natin. And there's a possibility na pumunta ulit tayo dito uh, sa 3,400 area. So check nyo po may higay magiging options natin for Ethereum. ADA is currently trading at 1.78. And nagiging kagaya po siya ng galawan ni Ethereum. Kasi since May 31st, maganda na po yung ating momentum. We are trading above the moving average 9 and today dito kay ADA may kita natin na we are trading above the moving averages already and maganda yung pagka-consolidate natin dito sa kanya uh, on, on the past 4 trading days dahil bumubuo po tayo ng ating higher lows dahan-dahan po nating bini-break out itong 1.76 area so ngayon may confirmation po tayo na meron na tayong strong support dyan sa 1.76 very good momentum yung may kita natin sa ating mga indicators and nakakross over na rin po uh, today yung ating MACD dito kay ADA so maganda maganda yung momentum niya generally sa ating weekly time frame dito po natin siya mas ma-appreciate dahil we are trading above the moving averages so we have the alignment of the stars here and yung ating tina-target ngayon na uh, pinakamataas na area which is possible natin maabot mga 70% is dito po banda sa may 2.31 so syempre along the way meron tayong mga resistance na may kita dyan pero yung maximum goal natin habang meron po tayong strong momentum is dito po tayo titingin sa may 2.31 area so check nyo po maigi magiging options natin for ADA Dodge is currently trading at 0.42. Meron din po tayong magandang momentum na nakita dito kay Dodge. Uh, starting pa siya nung June 1st. So, pangatlong araw na po natin nagtitrade above moving average 9. And maganda rin po yung ginagawa natin consolidation in the short term. And uh, we are now targeting to break out itong 0.44 area 
paunti-unti. So, dito sa ating mga indicators, may kita na rin natin yung magandang momentum niya. Si Stochastics nasa overbought. Si MACD natin is naka-crossover na rin po. So, yung ating mga cryptocurrencies ngayon, maganda po yung mga momentum na nakita natin. So, pataas po talaga sila. And habang pataas sila, pwede tayo mag-hold. Dito kay Dodge, ang tinitingnan po natin na uh, high or yung ating maximum profit taking na pwede makita is ito banda sa may 0.53 going to 0.55. So, ito yung challenge natin ngayon, 0.44. So, mga nasa 80% naman natin siya may breakout. And then, yung next stage natin dito, 0.53 going to 0.55 we are also trading above the moving averages so same with ADA may alignment of the star sign na kita dito so very good momentum din po si Dodge as of the moment so check nyo po maigi magiging options natin for Dodge and that's it for today Kung nagustuhan niyo po itong video na ito, please don't forget to like it and share it as well para mapagbigay insights din po tayo sa iba. And also, kung meron po kayong additional information or thoughts dito sa review na to, comment nyo lang po yan para makatulong din po or makapagbigay information din po tayo sa iba. At sa inyo po na gustong magpa-review ng kanilang mga stocks, comment nyo lang din po yan para maisama po natin sa ating next session. And sa mga bago pong nanonood ng video na ito, don't forget to subscribe para lagi po kayo maging updated sa mga bagong videos na nilalabas po natin. Maraming maraming salamat po. I'll see you soon. Q Republic.